Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Holmberg, co-founder of Invisaligndoctors.com. This tutorial is an abbreviated version of root torque management with Invisalign treatment. The full version of this tutorial can be viewed on our learning website, Invisaligndoctors.com. Here's a before photo of a patient I've treated. The anterior deep bite in this case is obvious. Note also the lingual inclination of the upper incisors. This case requires anterior torque. Understanding how to manage torque with Invisalign treatment is the key to obtaining an excellent outcome. Root torque is a common tooth movement in orthodontics. One use is to create the proper interincisal angle of anterior teeth. This means to create the proper buccal lingual inclination. When anterior root torque occurs, the root apices are repositioned either labially or lingually, and the incisal edges are not repositioned. Here's a diagram showing lingual root torque. Invisalign uses an aligner feature called power ridges to deliver that root torque. Before I start discussing torque, there's a very important concept to understand. Usually the amount of torque programmed into the ClinCheck treatment plan is not fully expressed clinically. This is because it's a difficult movement. Let's assume the torque you see in this example is occurring in the ClinCheck and note its degree. Here's the amount of actual torque you'd expect to see clinically. There's a leg between the torque you see in ClinCheck and the torque you see clinically. Here's a situation where translation is programmed into ClinCheck for art expansion. Note that both the crown and the root epices are moved together. The buccal lingual inclination does not change. So this represents the final position as seen in the ClinCheck. Understanding that crowns move easier than roots, what are we going to see clinically when translation is programmed into a treatment plan? The root movement leg behind the crown movement resulting in clinical crown tip. Now this may explain why you see flaring or buccal crown tip of posterior teeth when a lot of expansion is programmed into a ClinCheck. To compensate for this undesirable effect, consider adding around 3 degrees of buccal root torque into your treatment plan. So here's the final position, no crown tip because some buccal root torque was added to compensate. In order to be able to manage root torque with Invisalign, the doctor needs to be able to identify when torque is occurring in a treatment plan and understand when it's necessary to change that torque. The use of the 3D controls in ClinCheck Pro is the preferred way to change torque in a ClinCheck. So how do we determine if root torque is occurring in a ClinCheck? Here's a patient I've treated. Note that tooth nine is tipped lingual to begin with. When I play the ClinCheck movie, you will see lingual root torque occurring with tooth nine. Note that the buccal lingual position of the incisal edge does not change much. So that's root torque. The root apex is moving lingual. Viewing the ClinCheck movie from the side is a good way to determine if root torque is occurring in a ClinCheck. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Consider joining our community of Invisalign doctors on InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial and many more can be viewed in their entirety. Personalized case assistance is also available on our site.